Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Wandisa, aka Wandilu, and we are back with another episode of Behind the Brand. This is part two of moving into our brand new office. If you haven't watched part one, go back, watch that, and then come and watch this video. In this video, we get our office to about 90% there. Like, it's not all the way complete, but it's, it's pretty much done. And we're getting equipment, we're getting tables, we're getting fridges, like lots and lots of deliveries, lots of unboxings. Um, yeah, oh, speaking of unboxing, your girl got her first PR package. <laughs> Let's just jump into this video. Good morning, YouTube. Um, yes, another day. It is the 22nd of November. I'm going back into the office. We've been in the office for a solid week now, I would say, um, of us actually working in the office, which has been great. Half the office is somewhat put together. The other half is still very much chaotic but it's livable it's workable um and so it's good to actually be in that space you know being productive um sales have been okay we've just been so busy trying to get things together in the office that we haven't really prioritized um you know pushing sales it is black friday week so a lot of people are holding off not buying anything hoping to catch a black friday sale so i completely understand that um so we are today we're going to start ramping up our black friday advertising what else are we doing today um i've got a few yeah one or no, two consignment orders i need to go out very excited about the one happening in johannesburg that's actually going, that's going out tomorrow not today because if it goes out today it'll arrive tomorrow and then not open tomorrow so we have um, a new consignment or a new stockist in Johannesburg, um, which we're very, very excited about because it just means that people can go to the shop and buy just shea butter at a shop. Um, but this is a salon in uh, Randburg. We're busy revamping our website, so we're going to have all our stockists and their locations on the website, which I'm really, really excited about. Um, also, I've got work to do on that side today. So it's a full day for me. Um, so let's get uh, let's get to it. The chair goes forward, guys. I am not. <laughs> I am not a tall person. Okay. <sighs> Alrighty, let's do this. box I see a box because your girl <laughs> just got her first PR package <laughs> guys Wandy Lu is doing the most on the internet but anyway we're doing this we are doing this we are gonna unbox this package we're gonna get into it um, because yeah the internet has officially endorsed me as a person of influence <laughs> guys I cannot, yes, in I cannot take myself seriously. I okay, so I'm gonna go and get myself together. Um, 
I mean, I look okay, but are we unboxing ready? I don't think so. <laughs> so I'm gonna just, you know, do my face, get it together, and officially um, unbox. Hey guys, um, I am back. Patrick sent me this box. Ooh! <laughs> I think I'll get into the click and fix in another video. For those of you who are intimidated by drilling, by um, nailing things to the wall, this is your solution. No more nails, high tech. This is a very strong construction adhesive. It will stick to pretty much any material, glass, um, brick, wood. Did you see the excitement? Listen, I could not be contained. That whole week, I was on a high, like just out here feeling myself. Okay, a whole influencer. What? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, it's crazy. Like, the minute I decide I'm gonna chill on the DIY content, I get a whole PR package. Um, yeah. Anyway, so I'm hopefully gonna be doing more DIY stuff as I decorate and get this office together. You haven't seen the kitchen yet um and that's coming up in future episodes but i really want to get that space looking like beautiful so there should be more like decor diy content coming your way enough about that it's time to unbox some equipment Okay, so um, one down, one to go. <laughs> I am so happy. Uh, this is gonna like quadruple, double, double on double our capacity to make soap. We're gonna be able to do so much more soap now. Um, these are just the cooling or curing actually trays. Um, my little, because our soap is natural and so it requires a good six weeks, four to six weeks. Um, I like to make it six weeks. Uh, to cure so that is what's going to be happening in here these are oh so nice and so we'll just label the front of each tray so we know when it was made um, and dated correctly but yeah so one down and one more to go
Good morning YouTube, I am alone in the office today. Um, I wanted to show you a bit of an update from where I may have left off. My camera died so you didn't see the full installation. But I wanted to show you the thing that I am so excited about, which is this area. What? Okay, um, we've got these click floor or um, plastic puzzle tiles down just to protect the carpets because this is going to be a bit of a high traffic area and I'm going to have um, like tables and refrigeration over there so I just don't want to mess up the carpets um, this is just some of my packaging this arrived last week as well I'll put this together I think you may have seen that well not really just this one bulb decided to do funny things um, but that arrived everything is going well equipment is arriving I'm getting the office together slowly but surely I'm just like feeling very accomplished um, and then this happens okay um, all right so something crazy just happened or is currently happening um, I was expecting a box for a manual labeler like a manual labeling machine um, I got the box delivered, the right, you know, information. I'm like, okay, cool, I can see who it's from. I'm gonna get into this box. And I opened the box. And it's chocolate. It's chocolate covered peanuts. Um, and the first thought I had was, oh my gosh, I'm being scammed. I am obviously being scammed. So. I got in touch, I'm getting in touch, well I'm busy um, chatting to the um, supplier to be like, where's my manual labeler and not order peanuts. Oh my gosh, chocolate covered peanuts to add insult to injury. Um, so yeah, trying to get that sorted out. And I've got my ADA ordered today. So the order is to see that the stuff that I've ordered is it has in fact arrived. Um, and I can imagine me opening this box and be like, hey, here's my label, you know, I don't know, it costs a couple of thousand rand. She opens it and um, it's peanuts. Like literal, literal peanuts. I can't. So this morning, this that's what we're going to be trying to sort out because that is not okay. But I know mistakes happen, but I also know that scams are a real thing, and so I will keep you updated. Um, okay, so it has been a couple of days since the failed delivery. Um, yeah, that was that was quite scary. <laughs> Um, I was worried that I was being scammed or like I was just it's a lot of money um, and so I was just like super super stressed about it we tried to sort it out this week you know but you never know until the thing actually gets here so this is hopefully the correct parcel um, it should be a label applicator so yeah let's uh, get into this box um, all right so this is it I'm gonna unwrap it um, doesn't have an instruction manual and has a bunch of parts which has me a little bit like concerned so I have messaged the supplier and asked him to send me like email me an instruction manual because I don't know how else I'm supposed to figure out how to put this together um, I, I feel like it should come with it should come with uh, an instruction manual. Like, how do I? I don't know what. Okay. Um, so hopefully I get that. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to YouTube it. But I really don't want to. Like, I want him to send me the instruction manual. His service has been good. Shame. Um, during this whole mishap, I'm sure it was also quite frustrating for him to have to replace a parcel. Um, and for the courier to lose one of his one of his orders and I mean this thing's like 10 grand so it's it's a proper loss if it's not found again and hopefully he has insurance um, I'm sure he has insurance for that kind of amount I mean it's a lot of money it's a lot not to have insurance anyway I'm glad that I'm sorted because you know my contract was with him and so he has delivered on his 
part of the deal. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to putting this together once I have the instruction manual and then just cranking out, um, you know, labeling my jars in a much more uniform and hopefully easier way. All right, guys. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Um, it is the 17th of December. It's my last day in the office. Well, sort of official last day in the office. I definitely will be popping in and out um, this weekend. And then I'm going to go home for a little bit. Um, and we are officially closed. We're back in January. I got myself some breakfast, bacon and egg, um, little sandwich or roll or whatever you want to call it. Um, and yeah, I've got some work to do. I did get a few more deliveries, which I'll show you. I'll unpack. And then maybe I'll give you a bit of an update of what's happened in the office. It's definitely like almost all the way there. Almost, almost, almost. Um, I've got my ADA audit. So ADA is the Agribusiness Development Agency. I don't know why I did this <laughs> with my hands. It's the Agribusiness Development Agency and they have been um, supporting my business or they have supported my business with grant funding towards um, equipment. So they're coming today to do an audit. Yeah, so I'll probably do a grant funding video um, that might be helpful if you are in South Africa. So yeah, I'm going to do some work. I did do a shipment earlier this morning. I dropped off a parcel, my last parcel or last delivery for the year. Anything that comes after today is just going to be um, shipped next year. So yeah. Let me have some breakfast and get to work. Ooh. That is good. That is good. Oh, yeah. So one of the things one of the things I like to do, um, I don't know about you guys, but I watch a lot of like small business content. I think that's why I'm inspired to create the series. Um Someone that I love is Ivy and Twine Candles. Um, it's Georgina and I've forgotten her husband. I've forgotten her husband's name. Georgina is the woman and then the husband is the guy. <laughs> What's his name? I've forgotten his name. Anyway, um, they do some really great vlogs. I'll link them down below. They, do a, they have a candle making company. Um, and I just, I don't know, I love watching their journey and watching their vlogs. Um, so sometimes if I have some downtime or I want to relax, I'll watch some of their videos. Um, but yeah, it also gives me ideas. Like watching videos is very, very helpful. Like watching other people do similar things gives me ideas in terms of what it is that I need in my space, what equipment I should be using. Um, just learning from other entrepreneurs, you know, most of them are international, so they are like these are like Ivy and Twine, they're based in Scotland. I'm always watching that kind of content. I find it really inspiring, really entertaining watching other people grow. Um, so I hope that maybe, you know, I might be that for some of you, but be local um, as far as being South African. Um, but yeah, anyway, let me just get back to watching this and enjoying my cup of coffee, which is so good. I know I like give my coffee machine a hard time. Um, because it's not quite, you know, what I want it to be. But today, it's just hitting all the right. Like it's doing everything it's supposed to do today. So I'm really, really happy. Um, but anyway, let me get back to this. And then, then I will get some work done. Okay, bye.
can't um I can't stop smiling. La la la, we are mazukot. Hey, we are mazukot. Listen, um, I am just in disbelief. A few weeks ago, I was like almost ready to pack this whole thing in and move back home. I started moving boxes. More on that later. Like I was just in crazy fear and I was retreating and um yeah i was just afraid for the first time in a long time um and i almost went home i almost like gave in to the fear and just kind of not to not no longer run the business um but i wanted to be in a much safer environment and i realize now that if you want to grow exponentially like you have to um you have to be uncomfortable you have to push yourself you know if you start reducing your targets if you start like sinking into comfort you won't be hitting the targets that you need to be hitting you won't be growing exponentially one of my mentors said to me like listen you can go home but you're gonna grow at an organic slow rate um and right now you have all the support potentially do you really want to be doing that so I was I was just tired. Like, I was so tired of pushing, um, and yeah, just when I was ready to give up, as they always say, everything came together. Um, but not before I made the decision to stay and stick it through. Um, so yeah, I am here. I am growing. We are growing. I want you to grow with me. I have been trying in the last couple of weeks trying to really build our capacity well it's been a journey of a couple of years actually maybe I'll take you through that one day um, but not without the assistance of the agribusiness development agency um, which is a government um, agency um, they have been really really helpful and I mean this behind me that's that's the ADA okay that's the ADA if you want to know more about that let me know I probably will share my grant journey um, with you guys as well as like SAB um, they've also been really helpful in growing my business my mindset giving me great mentorship um, yeah the last this last year has been crazy <laughs> crazy 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 but I feel like it's been in preparation for great things to come um and i'm so glad that you know we are underway and we started so much to come so much to come in 2022 i will see you there that is it that is me if you've made it to the end of this video thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you also thank you so much for your kind comments on my previous videos i feel like i'm feeling really good i'm feeling pumped and i'm excited to keep bringing you these videos comment below if you are a small business just give me your business name in the comments i would love to check it out and just like learn a little bit more about you guys you guys are getting some insight into me now i want to know more about you and if you don't own a business please let me know of a small business that you are supporting or, or that you follow or that you admire just say you know i'm really loving whoever um and i would love to check them out as well Okay, that is it. I will see you, as always, in the next one.